Okay, what is all this? What is all this? This is my August haul. August. August. Now, if you're watching me, and I hope that you are, you will see that I mentioned a lot of these puzzles in other videos. I mentioned them in individual videos. I mentioned them in the 30 days and 30, 30 puzzles and 30 days challenge. And I also did a video that just highlighted Seiko. But for the sake of a haul video, voila, 33, I think. So let's try to do this without having a massive crash. We'll start off with the three white mountain, all still shrink wrapped. This one is called Cozy Bookshop. Now, I want to do this one soon. Actually, I want to do two of these soon because they're only 500 pieces and because this one has a cat, this is going to be one that I get done during the month of September. What I love about White Mountain puzzles, whether they are 500 piece puzzles or 1000 piece puzzles, is the piece size is bigger. So this basically is about the size of a typical 1000 piece puzzle, whereas the next puzzle I'm going to show you, let me just grab these two so I can explain. This is a White Mountain puzzle called Camping Trip, 1000 pieces. Now, um, oh, I thought they showed the piece size on the box, but maybe they, oh, there we go. See, the actual piece size is bigger than your typical 1,000 piece size. So this would be what your typical 1,500 piece puzzle would look like. This looks really fun. Um, PD Marino is the artist. I won't always name the artist because I'm not sure I'm always going to see it. But this is one of the white mountains that I got. I do have maybe six or seven in my shopping cart. Um, by the way, White Mountain is having a sale today. I think it's the today and tomorrow. It's twenty percent. Saturday, I believe. Saturday and Sunday, it's thirty percent off, and on Monday, it's forty percent off. So again, thirtieth through the first, twenty percent off of their entire stat, stash, whatever stock. Over the weekend, thirty percent off. And then on Monday, Labor Day, 40% off. But I did not get these with that sale. These I got earlier. So this is called Sunset Cabin, a 500-piece puzzle that I'll definitely be doing soon because I want to get anything that's summery out. The, you see this? the trees are starting to change, so this can easily be done in September. No particular order. I'm going to show you these. I'm just going to grab them as I grab them. Sorry for the redundancy for you who watched my Seiko video, but this is Seiko Happy Camper. I was really glad to get this one because I thought they only came in 300 piece sizes. I believe the artist is Tracy Flickinger. Um, it's not on the, but no, this is Steph. Let me see if I can read this one. Stephanie Peterson Jones. Okay, so in my other video, I think I put the wrong artist. But this is a Happy Camper puzzle that's 750 pieces. Most of the Happy Camper puzzles are 300 pieces. Another Seiko puzzle that I got, and I think there's 16 of these, so I'm sorry for the redundancy again. And this is a pause gone wild. This is Kittens in the Bedroom. And I don't think I can even tell you. It just says Image World Licensed by MHS Licensing. This is one of my Buffalo Dominic Davison puzzles. I got two of these, 500 pieces. And this is uh, Grandpa's Farm Market. Very easy, very enjoyable, very quick. Oops. This is Puzzle Complaints. You'll see this in my uh, 30 Puzzles in 30 Days video. This was fun, you crazy chickens who had all these complaints like it's too hard, that's not a good board, or what, who completed the section, I wanted to do it, too much white space, or this is too easy, or it's too hard, so fun, fun puzzle. This one was thanks to my friend Hope because she knows I love house, lighthouses. This is a Cobble Hill lighthouse puzzle. I was able to get this off of Zulily for, I believe, $14.99, which is going to be $19.99 elsewhere. So I was able to grab this one. 
This is uh, one of the food truck puzzles, taco, a food truck's taco truck. And I've already completed this one. A lot of these I've already completed in the 30 puzzles for 30 days challenge. This one, um, I think that this is Rustic Lodge or Autumn. Okay. Two of the David McLean puzzles I may not be able to tell you the names of, but you'll see them in the description box below. So this is uh, one of the David McLean 1,000 piece puzzles. I believe I bought three of his, two or three of his, uh, in the 1,000 piece size, and then some in the smaller size. This is another food truck puzzle. This is Hot Dogs 2. So there was a Hot Dogs Truck 1 at some point, but this is Hot Dog Truck 2. I completed this one. Okay. Another one I did during the August challenge was Country Life, uh, Old Western Town. This is a Dominic Davison 500 piece one. Completed that one. Loved it. I loved, I love old movies. I love old westerns. So this movie gave me a lot of reminiscent thoughts. Plants, I just bought this because I thought it would be easy. This is a Seiko puzzle, 550 pieces. I thought, oh, this is great. I could sneak this into the challenge and whip right through it. But guess what? It was more challenging than I had expected, which makes it worth its money. Because, you know, to do a puzzle in two hours after spending 10 bucks isn't always the best thing. Okay, pizza truck. This is a food truck pizza truck. I love this one. This is another Cobble Hill puzzle that I got on Zulily, and this is called Cat's Retreat. It's a 500 piece Cobble Hill puzzle. Very enjoyable, but there you have three ginger kittens. So there was a little bit of a challenge because you have three kittens with the same colors, but still it was great fun. This is an empty box because I'm currently working this puzzle, but it's called Balloon Mania. I decided to do this for my first September puzzle, which I did start today, the 31st, but I knew I wasn't going to finish it because I knew I'd be making videos. In any event, I love this puzzle because it's busy and I love busy puzzles, but I'm finding out already that because of the balloons being distinct, that just separating the pieces by balloon color is making the puzzle pretty easy to do. Okay, let's see. This is one of the David McLean puzzles that I cannot call the name of, but it'll be in the description. Oh, this is Stella's Beach Diner. I'm sorry, Stella's Diner, not Stella's Beach Diner. This is a David McLean 1000 piece Stella's Diner. Forgive me for the mistake I just made. Another David McLean, um, this, this one I believe is called The Flyby. I do remember this one, The Flyby, because you see the airplane up there and it's flying over this rustic or this cabin with some people in the yard looking up at the plane and you have a dog and you have a fire i always when i first looked at this picture i'm not gonna lie i'm thinking why is the fire so close to the cows but all right so anyway david mclean 1000 pieces i'm gonna love doing it anyway this is a 750 piece puzzle called autumn townhouse and I am, um, I don't think the artist is on a lot of these sequels. Oh, this is a Dominic Davison and I did not even know it. I love Dominic Davison. Autumn Townhouse. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to do this one as soon as the calendar turns winter, summer into fall. This is called Rustic Lodge. This is a 1000 piece seagull puzzle. And I think, like I said, there's at least 16 Seiko puzzles that I bought during the month of August. This is Food Truck Festival. Loved doing this one. Very busy, but a very quick puzzle to assemble. This is Paws Gone Wild. This is, okay, the other one was Kittens in the Kitchen, I, but this is called uh, Kittens in the Bedroom, I believe. And this was a little bit of a challenge because of all that fur. All those, I think there's eight kittens in this one, but I loved it nonetheless. This one was super easy, and this is one that I really wanted to do early on in August, but I waited to the last week, but I'm so glad I did it. Kittens in the Moonlight, a 500-piece puzzle by Seiko. In love with that brand. They are going to get a lot more of my money. Okay, 
happy camper this is the tracy flickinger one the 300 piece one and there's four or at least four others in this series but i'm not really going to do a lot of 300 piece puzzles but if you only want to pay eight or nine dollars for a puzzle check out the tracy flickinger's uh happy camper series on amazon the link for this will be in the description and you can get that series this is ice cream truck two ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream and this is uh another seco 500 piece puzzle that i did for the challenge loved it loved it loved it um one of these that i did i don't really quite remember which one was difficult but i don't think this one was one of the difficult ones and it was only difficult because of, of being sick really feeling lousy one day now saw the seagull puzzles twice if you're watching my videos now we're going to look at some of my ebo puzzles okay now this is woodland creatures this is a new one 500 pieces i did this one during the month of august for the challenge loved it I love brown puzzles. I love evil puzzles. Some people don't like the glossiness or the glare, but it doesn't bother me. It just I just adjust those lights to my satisfaction and go for it. So that was Woodland Creatures. This one I just got, I think, yesterday, Reading and Relaxing. And I can't wait to do this one. I'm, I'm looking at the tape. It looks like it might have been returned i that tape looks kind of weird but i have to check that out anyway reading relaxing i got this on amazon just got it a day or so ago this is lavender kitchen there are four kitchen puzzles in the series there's kitchen chickens and you'll see the other two in a moment but this is lavender kitchen my hardest puzzle and yet my favorite puzzle for august lavender kitchen loved it the other two in the kitchen series, this one here is, let me hold that back for a moment. This one here is Green Kitchen. And this looks a lot easier than Lavender Kitchen. So I cannot wait to do this one, Green Kitchen. Then we have Blue Kitchen. And that makes four puzzles in the kitchen series. I should have bought the chick kitchen chickens in here, but it's in the other room. But there are four puzzles in this series. Uh, two of the puzzles have the same artist, and then there are two different artists for the other two. Now, this one I grabbed a second ago, but I'm going to show you now. Poets got in. I got this on Amazon. It was marked down to $14.99, and these puzzles generally go for $23.99. But I was able to grab it for 15 bucks, so I grabbed it. It's not my best and most enjoyable uh, image, but I think I'm going to have fun with it. I, I like the way the people are drawn, you know, more cartoony than realistic, so that's going to be fun. Two more to go, and I'll be done with this haul video. This is Artist and Daughter. I'm trying to think if this is the one I got on a low price. I can't quite remember, but this is Artist and Daughter. I believe I got it on Amazon and it's a 1000 as a matter of fact most of the ones that are square or rectangle that I've shown you in this video are 1000 pieces and this is artist and daughter I love this one and last but not least my puzzle stack is trying to topple over and this is seaside harbor I love this one I like busy puzzles and I'm not going to fool myself into believing that these houses are going to be easy because remember that France puzzle that I told you that I said, oh, this is going to be super easy, but it wasn't. So I don't expect it to be easy, but I expect it to be quite enjoyable. And so that brings me in. We're just going to take a quick gander. Well, I just have to do something really quickly. I'm going to bring up the puzzle collection app. And I am going to sort by brand. I'm currently sorted by date added, but we're going to sort by brand. And I'm going to sort by ascending and let you know how many e uh, Ebu puzzles I have so far. So, you see that right there? 
So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, plus this one, 43. So I currently have 43 Ebu puzzles in my stash. And I Ebu is having a 20% off sale. So I think I bought four or five earlier. So I will have almost 50. I love the brand. Only done about a dozen. So I've got, you know, quite a few more to go. And I pepper my puzzles according to mood and variety so i'm not sure when i'll get to them but i will so that's about it for this haul i know it was a quick video i talked fast and i have made a huge mess that i must now clean up but i want to thank you for watching and now i've got to do all this editing for all of these videos i just created but i want again thank you for watching if you enjoy my haul videos please let me know in the comments below and also, if you enjoy this haul video, please leave a like. Where I bought the puzzles on Amazon, I will leave the Amazon affiliate links. Where I bought them on Zulily or Ebu, I will try to link those links for you. But those are not affiliate links. So, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.